Nelly's Crystals, how are you and your family? I hope you're really, really well. So, here is your crystal ball. Thank you so much. How lovely is it? It's beautiful, absolutely perfect. And of course, your lovely, beautiful watermelon crystals. Beautiful. So, thank you so much for that. I'm really glad I found your channel. Um, I'm glad I'm not every, on every week. The temptation is too great, especially this time of the year. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at your reading you asked me today. Asking, will you be happy in the next few months? Now, happiness um, it, it is a state of mind, also a state of heart. Sometimes the human body does have these kind of chemicals and hormones going around our body that can influence the way we feel and think but generally it's all about focus um, you're a very successful person and much loved so that should be a saving grace for that so um, as far as I could see from yourself and, and how you conduct yourself you're a lovely person <laughs> and to be, um, you know, to, to ask the question, will you be happy? It's always how we focus on things. We'll, we'll see what the cards say um, and have a look at that. <laughs> so let's have a little look at that. Mm -hmm. I think the next few months. I'll also do you a monology card as well. Thank you. Okay. Right, let's have a look. So I'll just draw several at a time. So the first thing that comes uh, to mind in the next few months is a three of spring. So this is commonly um, suggested that your ship comes in. The tortoises or sea turtles are very lucky. Well, they seem to be lucky, not so much lucky for the uh, turtle. Because <laughs> the shells of um, turtles used to be used as a good luck. Um, as you can see, not so good luck for the turtle. But the thing is, turtles are generally seen as lucky because they've got a lot to survive. So over the next few months, if you can learn to survive with your head above water and generally focus on what you need to focus on, you'll equally survive. Little turtles, they battle to get into the sea, they battle in the sea and throughout their life. So this is also about being productive, uh, which you are and also persistent, which hopefully you are. So just be persistent in wanting your ambition to come towards you and see yourself as a little bit fortunate at times. <laughs> so that's the first card. The second um, is the moon. So you could be quite affected um, initially by emotions. Um, so you've got to be the bigger person here and, and say to yourself that emotions just come from feelings come from um, hormones sometimes but sometimes the moon is about what's real and what's not real so some of it could be imagined and some of it could be true so doing things in a robotic way sometimes isn't the best way to go about so paying attention to your intuition is going to give you a huge indication of where you are in life so the moon lends its energy from the sun it is very yin so for you maybe it's all about um that feminine motherhood kind of aspect it's also um silver comes to mind so for you wearing silver might be a good idea at this moment in time but as i said it it um, reflects energy so maybe you need a little bit of protection uh, over the next few months maybe you're feeling a little bit you know under the weather kind of thing um so sometimes we need the yellow of the jewelry 
Um, but if, if you feel like you want to be an, an introvert over the next month or two, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> um, we do have to look after ourselves. And just remember, if you do feel a little bit off, that it is only a phase. Um, it, it means going within, which is very good in the winter. Winter is the yin month. So just reflecting on what you've done, what you've achieved, what you want to go to achieve. So it's all about being meditative as well. So that's quite good. It gives you time to reflect on what needs reflecting. What was that card? Right. Three spring. Great. So waiting for your ship to come in is absolutely fine. <laughs> what else have we got? Nine of autumn. This is what I expect from Nelly's crystals. <laughs> Abundance and good fortune. So when you say, um, are you going to be happy in the next few months? If you put your happiness on value, then you do have value. You know you've got value anyway as a person. I hope, or you should do anyway, because you're a great person. <laughs> so here we are with the Nine of Pentacles. It's the luxury card. It's that, wow, are I making it? And indeed you are. In the episode I visited you, you certainly were. <laughs> It's like they're almost fighting to get Nelly's crystals, um, people, if you want to find her on Instagram. I don't mind just shouting them out. <laughs> Leave some for me though, you guys. Yeah, okay. So th this is the card of abundance. So you're definitely going to get abundance. So that whole flow is there. What you put in, you get out. And it's a good cycle of doing that. So yeah, absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. Money's not going to be an issue. So keep doing what you are doing and making time for yourself and your family um, is very, very good. Right, let's have a look at your Moonology card to see what's going on. So, and then these crystals. Right, let's have a look where you are in your moon phase. So we have the end of a tough cycle approach. Yes. There you go. So you've got the full moon in Capricorn, which is good for you because full moon in Capricorn, yeah, full of hard work. So Capricorn is um, in January. So you do say in the next couple of months. So hopefully by January, the Capricorn season It'll be absolutely fantastic. So when it says the uh, full moon in Capricorn and the end of a tough cycle approaches, that's really good, isn't it? So embrace um, a Capricorn workaholic attitude. Be very grounded in what you do want. This card here, the full of luxury, is very much um, Capricorn as well. Uh, pentacles being round, the earth and Capricorn, the earth sign. So this is the working hard of luxury. This is, so still work hard. Um, it'll pay dividends in the end. If you want a break at all, then uh, self-employed people don't have breaks. <laughs> oh, keep carrying on, keep carrying on. So the, the more you do your um, little episodes, the better. Um, I don't see a problem at all. I'll, I'll, well, when I get a bit more money, I'm sure I'll come along again. It's just that I overspent. So I'm staying away. Otherwise, yeah, la, la, la. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, tough cycles coming to an end. So basically, if you want to focus on happiness and acceptance and love, and then that's what you'll get more of. When we focus on the hardships, then that's what we get more of. So just congratulate yourself for doing what you have done and that's very much the nine of pentacles about you've gone online you've connected with customers you've sold to customers you've got a good family to help you everything's in place so just feel very grateful for that that's great okay <laughs> so everything looks great i'll see you again soon no doubt do take care thank you for the question <laughs>